All right, we're getting close to it, and you can see something above. Or, oh, here we go. Oh. Hey guys, and welcome back to Subnautica with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So, uh, I'm glad that this, uh, this series has been taking off so so well on the channel. I, I know you guys like it, or it sounds like you guys are liking it. <laughs> I know you guys like the game, for sure. Um, what I do, I guess I missed uh, a PDA at uh, LifePod19. That was probably because we were, you know running out of air very quickly <laughs> so what i want to do before we head back there is i do want to build the what is it the rebreather right here i want to make the rebreather i'd like to uh you know build some of these like uh the mk2 presser uh yeah pressure compensator oh we don't even know aluminum oxide crystal okay never mind we can't even build that i don't have a clue uh, modification station. Oh, that yeah, that's for the Seamoth, isn't it? Uh, yeah, for the Seamoth. Okay, so yeah, we're, uh, we're gonna have to figure out where all that stuff goes. Um, all right, well, wouldn't we like to build some torpedoes for the Seamoth? Anyways, <laughs> of course I would, but all these stuff, I, all that material was we don't have. And what you guys have been telling me is that we're gonna have to move on from this location sooner or later. I guess it starts uh, from uh, Life Pod 19 and over. Either way, we're going to stay here for a little bit longer. Um, there's still obviously some radio signals coming in. Also, what I haven't done, and what we should do, is build one of those... What is it? Uh, first aid kits or stations? Uh, where are they at? Not 100% sure. Uh, first aid kit. Okay. Bleach. I can't remember. We know how to make bleach. Oh, so those are the kits. We can't uh, just make the the wall mount. Or I'm just looking at the wrong spot. Yeah, I'm looking at the wrong spot. I thought maybe it'd be under machines here. But I have a feeling that we can't. We can make the kits themselves, but we just can't make the... Oh, there it is. The first aid. Uh, fiber mesh. One. Computer chip. Okay, well, maybe we'll make that later. It's not something that has to be done today. Um, and then, obviously, we do need to make the power cell. Uh, charger, which hopefully we're good to go. Anyways, either way, we're just gonna move on. <laughs> we'll jump in here. Uh, go here, rebreather. We're gonna make that. We're gonna jump over to Life Pod 19. See what we missed. Uh, now I'm going to shut off Life Pod 17, just because it's kind of you know interrupting all our view and stuff like that. Uh, other than that, I think we're doing pretty well, hopefully. Welcome um, aboard, Captain. Let's jump in the life pot, or... So it's 65%, as I believe we still have a power cell on us. Oh. Hold on. That's the rebreather. That's the radiation helmet. So the question is, interiors... Okay, well, I think we're moving away from the Aurora, so we don't have to worry too much about uh, radiation over there. It doesn't really look like we get to move or, uh, I guess, change suits all that much. We're staying with the lead quite a bit here. Alright, um, how about we don't crash into any of those. We'll keep moving over. Why does life pot 17 or 19 have to be so far away? Oops, did not mean to jump out of the water like that. <laughs> oh, this is something I didn't I, don't, I didn't notice before, uh, but we can notice it right now. Ooh, actually, before we do anything, let's go one. If when you hit uh, fish in the sea moth as you're going fast and they explode against the window, they actually deal damage to the sea moth, and the faster you're going, the more damage it does. Secondly, I want to jump in the Seamoth here. I'm going to shut off the lights. And... I'm going to exit real quickly. I wanted to see... Uh, five... There we go. First of all... I'll grab the salt. 
Not quite what we came down here for, but hey. What I wanted to see, there's those stalkers. And I know we have stalker teeth in our base. But I don't think I've scanned any of them. Uh, okay, I picked it up by accident. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that we'd actually see like a stalker. Some stalker teeth just kicking around here. What is that? Battery charger fragment. Hey, that's nice. Don't need it. We already have it, but hey, titanium's titanium. Oh, there's a stalker. You want some? We're gonna so make propulsion a propulsion cannon. Get back here. Get back here. I'm not done with you. No? Do we not have a knife anymore? Did I break the knife? I think I did. <laughs> That's alright. Um, I guess you just don't find the stalker teeth all over the place, eh? Uh, oh. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's keep moving here. So yeah, I think we do need, we need weapons of some sort, and I think that propulsion cannon is probably one of them. Uh, and instead of us just wandering around aimlessly trying to find a stalker teeth, which seem to be fairly rare, because we've only found three, and I found three of them, like, Oxygen. oops, all in the same spot, so, well, we will head to Life Pod 19, and then we'll get back to, when we get back to our base, or, yeah, to the base, we will check out the, the stalker teeth in, in our storage, sorry, I was just taking a look around there, all right, come on, there we go, so, you ever wonder how we get into the sea moth without it flooding? Hmm? Or do we get into it and then it pressurizes itself and then we can actually swim around? Huh? These are the questions we need to know. Actually, we haven't dived this deep because this is this puts us right to the limits. This is a really cool area. We might have to come check it out later. Once we get, you know what? Once we have, ooh, there's a. Uh, there's one of those guys. <laughs> oh. There's more of those guys. Uh, lots of salt down here, which is nice. This is actually a nice little area. This wouldn't be too bad of a place to build. It's a little deeper than where than what we're at right now with our base. There's still quite a bit of fish around here. I don't know if you can build, like, way down here. Now, I have to watch our depth. Because last time I really wasn't watching it. And <laughs> yeah, we took some damage. Nice and slow. Ish. Okay, where is it? Okay, here we go. I think we also need to explore the ruins. Or the... I really want to just take this right to the limit, almost. Pretty close, we're within one meter, so... Alright, let's see if the rebreather helps us any. Um, so you guys were saying that I missed, uh... Missed a PDA, and I'm not going to say that um, you guys are wrong at all, because you're probably right. Oh, yeah, there it is. Alright, do that. We'll take a look at it in just a second. I just want to make sure there's nothing around here. Grab that. Oh, what's this? Power cell charger? Okay, yeah, well, we were looking for that fragment last time. Uh, why do I have... Probably because we were messing around in the grass biome there. Trying to kill that uh, stalker. <laughs> Where's this light coming from?
kind of hoping that we'd... Oh. Oh, is that something we can scan? Rock grub. Normal? Yeah, look at all the... We're... Uh, we're doing really good for oxygen here, actually, you guys. I don't want to go too far away from the sea moth. Still need to find out a little like where we, um, where we get enamel glass or how we make enamel glass. Gonna grab some air here. Now let's uh, let's see what that uh, PDA had to say. Data downloads one. Aurora. Now I'm pretty sure we read this one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm attempting to control descent. But yeah, we read that one. Okay, the second one. To all crew, if you're reading this, then you have the follow the... What? You have followed the automatic distress signal broadcast by the life pods onboard computer. Contrary to my orders, uh, I have been forced to evacuate the orders. Your orders are to disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates at the nearest landmass. I hope to see you there. Okay. And technical power thermal plant. Uh, what? The, f the first rule of survival is host in a hostile environment is to work with the resources available. If it's 800 degrees outside and you're in danger of burning to death, at any moment you may as well get some cheap, reliable energy out of it. <laughs> the thermal plant is hot. Okay. Converts heat energy into electricity. Uh, always takes the thermometer. What? Always take thermometer readings before attempting installation. Core mechanics are... Okay. So we need to make like a thermometer of some sort. Whatever. No piggy. Alright, did I bring some water? Yeah, I brought some water. Good, good. Not much, but I brought some water. So we have all that. I don't know why I want the creature egg. Uh, Alright, we got the PDA. Thing is, that we gotta be super careful with the sea moth, too, because we can't really dive that deep with the sea moth. And we need the laser cutter, which, yeah, like I said, we need the enameled glass for. What is that? Is that lithium? Yeah, lithium. Alright, so I'd assume that we'd probably find enameled glass somewhere around here. Let's see if there's any... Wait, there was one place... I don't remember exactly where we were. But I didn't get to finish uh, exploring it. Became uh, a little too deadly. <laughs> uh... Okay, well, maybe because we went to Life Pod 19, now there's that other no moon pool. We really need to make this moon pool. Uh, what does it take to make the moon pool? Just out of curiosity. I think we were just looking at it not too long ago. I gotta watch my... <laughs> watch our oxygen as we're sitting here. Moon pole, there we go. Titanium ingots, lubricant, and advanced wiring kit. I think the advanced wiring kit's the only part that's... Not gonna be a problem. If that. Computer chip and cop uh, gold. No, that's not too bad at all. Um, so maybe we'll have to make a moon pole so we can actually do some modifications. Put torpedoes on our... Uh, You know, I don't, every time I come into, like, we come into this area, like, these areas where it's, like, huge, it's, like, there has to be something big just hiding in the dark, right? 30 seconds. Uh, better, uh, grab that. Keep going. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yay! All right, so let's head back to the base. Um... We'll check out the teeth. The teeth. The new radios uh, broadcast. And we'll see if we can't make the moon pool. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, I will uh, meet you guys there. Alright, you guys. So we have... I got all everything we need to make the moon pool now. Which took a little bit of time. <laughs> but we'll make the moon pool and then we'll check out this uh, new life pod call or whatever. Um, okay. Where is our construction thingy, I'm guessing? The construction thingy. <laughs> the doohickey, you know. 
All right, let's right click moon pool. Now, can we like somehow attach this to? Oh, there was a green. Can we attach it that way? Because the moon pool always is going to be by itself somehow. Or ooh, stop it. <laughs> can we? See, I'm trying to. R rotate? I can't remember. Is there a way to rotate the... Uh, okay, C brings us down. I don't want to build it, but it doesn't really matter if we do start to build it. I'm just pressing some buttons at the moment, you guys, just to see if we can't get it to rotate. Alright, I couldn't see. Control? Shift? No. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm just trying to think. Like, do we have to make a moon pool and then kind of build off of that? Ah, it's bright on the eyes, hey. All right, uh, we gotta find the perfect location for this, and we're running out of air already. <laughs> hmm. All right, I'm gonna to go to the surface real quickly. I was kind of hoping that we could actually attach the moon pool to our base right now. Maybe, oh, you know what, maybe if we extend, since this is a hatch, right? Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's go to our quartz here, our titanium real quickly. We'll grab a bunch of this. I'm just gonna, we're gonna attempt something, so. Could be wrong, could be right. We'll figure it out. We'll go Q here. We'll get rid of that. Okay. And oops, not tab. Go here. Um like that. Why won't they just click in like the hatch does? That's a big no-go there. <laughs> there has to be a way to rotate these. Okay, hold on. Hey guys, so I figured it out. Um, I'm happy, but I'm not happy at the same time. <laughs> so, uh, I did get the moon pole to work. It took me a long time to, well not a long time, but it took me quite a while to figure out exactly where to place it and stuff like that. Uh, but we're gonna move it all. So don't, where we have it right now, this is not even close to being final. I just put it close to the ground here. So I was trying to figure out how can we get stuff to attach to the moon pool, or how can we get the moon pool to attach to it. And literally, what I had to do with just to get this basic tunnel to attach to it, I had to, are you serious, uh, was make a hatch. So maybe we'll go like this too. Um, I had to make a hatch on the side of it, then put that, um, where is it here? Had to put this hatch on the side, and before I could get this, uh, this compartment to actually attach to the, to it. Which, uh, kind of sucked. But, I also have it up here. I also made a giant mistake here as we were trying to figure it out, or I was trying to figure out how to do stuff. Um, as you guys can see, we got another one of those tubes. But I also thought, well, maybe it's because of the foundation. There's no foundation, right? Well, now where I put this foundation, it's stuck to the multi-purpose room. So we're kind of stuck there, unfortunately. <laughs> we're kind of out of options with that one. And it looks like every time... Uh, this one was a little bit different, though, as I believe. Because, yeah, see, now this one automatically attaches. No problem, but to the... To the what was that the, the moon pool it was different so I don't know exactly what's going on here but what I do know is that we're gonna have to move our whole base because if we're gonna set up that moon pool I think we're gonna have to start with the moon pool and then kind of build off of it that way but that's not gonna happen in this episode so <laughs> we're going to read uh, or listen to the next uh, broadcast and see what happens Man, we go through so much water and stuff. Uh, let's go here. 
Let's just dump most of the stuff here. Uh, I want to keep one of those power cells. We've got quite a few power cells now, so it's not bad. Alright, uh, I'd like to get rid of this. Uh, ah, right there. There we go. Now we got some room. So, uh, let's go here and see what they got. For. Sunbeam broadcasting to all survivors of the Aurora. We've covered more than half the distance, so hold on in there. We're scanning the planet for dry land as we speak. You couldn't have picked a less convenient parking spot. But we'll be in touch as soon as we have a landing site for you. Sunbeam out. Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping that, you know, it'd have something to do with the enameled glass. Uh, okay. Oh, there was actually two. Sorry. Uh, here, we'll go like this. After weeks without human contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. Well, there we go. <laughs> There's that. So, if we're going to move everything, uh, and we're, the Sunbeam's not going to, or we don't have a quest to... Uh, or another, sorry, not a quest, another spot to go and check out right off the bat here. I want to deconstruct this moon pool and hopefully we get everything back. Okay, wiring kit. One, four. Yes, we got everything back from deconstructing the moon pool. Sweet. So maybe we should actually, I guess, go and take a look over by... Oh, Ron Aurora Rendezvous Point. Okay, hold on. Let us drop all this stuff off. Uh, okay, you gotta stop touching stuff. I wish you could just lock the the letters so you don't have to <laughs> you don't accidentally hit them again. Okay. All right, let's uh, jump in the sea mouth here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, thank you, thank you. See? Manners. Alright, let's go check out where this Aurora is. Or Aurora rendezvous points are. Um, oh, I also tried the... What is it? These guys right here. Um, the stalker teeth that we had at base. Uh, I couldn't... Oh, maybe I should have th dropped one on the ground. Maybe that'll ha that's what we'll have to do. I don't know if I scan them. I just picked them up. But I tried to scan them in our inventory, obviously we can't do that. I self-scanned and we are infected with something. I'm not 100% sure what, uh, but <laughs> hopefully there's a cure for it. Wow, this is kind of ways away. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys there. Alright, we're getting close to it and you can see something above. Or, oh, here we go. Oh, Is it floating? All right, well, dry land is dry land, right? Is it moving though? All I'm worried about is us though. Apparently I, I parked that a little close. I'll just back it up just a hair. <laughs> is this resources right in front of us? No. Okay, can we walk? All right, I, is this the one that we were we saw a while ago? Because we did see something. I don't know what it was, though. And I'm going to take out my knife, just in case there's something here. Yeah, that's not real. Oh, well, that's LifePod19. I was like, what? <laughs> All right, what's on, the, what's on this world? Or planet? Or island? <laughs> Worth taking. Can we scan? I haven't gotten a scan uh, indication yet. No resources, it looks like. Okay. Come on, we gotta be able to scan these, right? Picking up multiple faint energy signatures on the surface. Alright. The Bulbo tree. Well, uh, look at these one by one here. Okay, bulbal tree. A bulb based floor that which roots to the ground and sprouts turquoise leaves. Analyze 
Analysts suggest that the sap produced by this plant is poisonous to insects but can be harvested and consumed by humans for its high water content. Oh? We should probably take some of that then. Can we eat it or do we have to uh, like eat? Ooh, three food and ten. Alright, that's uh, way better than trying to hunt down fish, right? <laughs> Those fish are annoying sometimes. All right, let's uh, continue here. The voxel shrub. Okay, let's. Uh, there's quite a few of them here. The speckled rattler. Okay, the speckled rattler, uh, a brittle land plant, containing large spores, which generate a characteristic rattle when the plant is shaken. This may act as a ward off predator or even encourage. Uh, predation as it means of spreading its spores. Okay. Voxel shrub, a pink leaf plant with an irregular angular appearance which allows exclusively which grows exclusively on land. Sorry. So this one I guess we'll pick it up. I don't want to I don't wanna load up our inventory with stuff, but if you know we have one or two it's something. Hold on. That's a building. Can we get up there? Ooh, there's like a pool here. So there must be a way in underneath? Oh no. Um, the Jaffa Cup. <laughs> Sorry guys, there's just so much to look at here. But I really want to head up to whatever that place is there. The Jaffa Cup, a common land, land fungus found in the clusters, grows quickly, size is, a, size is limited only by available nutrients and space. Uh, I guess we can't eat it. I'm sure lots of these we could probably knock stuff off of them. Okay, somehow we gotta get over this way. There we go. Now we're on the way. Can we like climb? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, we do take fall damage. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Is that is that another one? Okay, hold up. Stop moving. Pick up uh, oh, the pink cap. What's in front of us? All right, nothing that really matters to me at the moment. Okay. There's three things. Okay, so there's one there, one there. One there. All right. Um, let's go up here. <laughs> I know we should probably go down to the easiest one, but I think we're almost at this one too. I'll just follow this. What looks to be like path. I like how the sound effects are like in. Okay, you know what? Just stop pulling it out. <laughs> Okay, can we scan anything? Okay, we can scan a spotlight. Bulkhead. Nice, these are new blueprints. Or that, the spotlight was at least. What about the bulkhead? Yep, nice, another blueprint. Okay, open container. I'll take the, looks like water. Yep. PDA. It sounds like some rocks were just falling. This isn't going to collapse while we're in it, is it? Uh, indoor grow bread. Oh my goodness, it really sounds like it's going to collapse here. Lantern fruit. Then we're going to take... Some, I guess. Uh, fern palm. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of reading in our future here. Grub basket. <laughs> I think the other ones we've gotten. The voxel shrub. Yeah, we got it. And oh, fern. Oh, what? What are we scanning here? It looks like the room, not the fern palm. Observatory. Oh, okay. We got the. 
Oh, oh building. All right, let's. Uh, I'm just gonna step outside because. It just sounds like it's falling apart in there. <laughs> so let's go to the fern palm. This specimen has a uh, was first identified by a, in an artificial grobit on the island. It is not listed in existing flora database, so it is unclear whether or not it is native to the planet. Genetic code shares some features with the uh, local plant life, but this may be the result of a DNA transfusion rather than natural evolution. Okay, lantern tree. Uh, you know, let's just read it. It says edible staple, grub basket, an orange colored plant, which can be thick protein rich sludge at its base. They may suggest a what carnivorous lifestyle wherein grubs and insects are attracted to the bright petals, make their way to the center and unable to scale. Yada yada. Okay, pink palm. The land based fungus specimen that is harvested spores and inedible. I like how we're always looking for something to eat immediately. It's like, can I eat this? Interior grow bed designed for use exclusively inside regulated regulated habitat modules. The interior grow bed is more compact than the uh, outdoor version and features a hydroponic nutrient delivery system. Okay. Spotlight, a permanent light. Light lighting solution to light up for installation on existing habitats and facilities. Uh, automatically rotates 180 degrees arc. Uh, motion sensitive will attract nearby moving objects. Draws electricity from main power. Power. Something just moved in front of us here. I swear. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, Bart Togol's log number three. What's left? I messed up badly this time. It's been two days since uh, since the attack. Uh, we never should have left this island. I shouldn't have done what they said. We shouldn't have gone so deep. We're not wanted down there. They don't trust us, and and I can see why. I could see it, and they couldn't. And now we're, they're gone, and I'm up here alone. I deserve to die here. Okay. That's kind of dark. Okay, we got that. Okay, so the observatory. Enameled glass. Oh, jeez. Uh, you know, if you guys could teach me how to make enameled glass, that'd be fantastic. Spotlight. Okay. Bulkhead. What is a bulkhead? Silicone rubber and titanium. Uh, I think these are going to be our favorite friends, especially if we can, if it's, they're not too hard to grow stuff on. Oh, there we go, enamel glass, finally. Okay, so we do need the stalker tooth and glass. Okay, perfect, finally. Now, what did we need it all for? <laughs> so, eat, how do you make... Eat for food, food. I wonder if there's a way... Okay, we're not going to... Eat them. Uh, not at the moment, at least. Well, that was... Not at the moment, at least. Um, I'd like to keep them. We'll try to uh, see if we can't plant them. We're, we're gonna have to make... Well, there's a bunch of stuff we're gonna have to make. We're gonna have to move the whole base to a deeper location. Uh, I do want to make these interior grow beds. Because if I don't have to run after fish all the time, because... To be honest, I know... If you've never played the game... Uh, while, when you're swimming and stuff like that, obviously they want you to use the sea moth and what is it? The sea glide as much as possible because you burn through food and water super quick. So, oh, what what is that? Everything in this game wants to attack or kill you. So let's just attack it right off the bat and see what we can do. Yeah, get some. Oh, it's coming towards us. Oh. Is it dead? Okay. <laughs> Cave crawler. Let's get it. Alright. Okay. Uh, let's get the exterior. Go bed. Pick up small marble melon. Let's pick up the small one, let's see. Fauna, scavengers and parasites, cave crawler. Agile territorial uh, carrion feeder, well adapted for both land and sea. Gas exchange membranes, malleable. Assessment, inconvenient. Okay. But like, it's not gonna kill us, but it's just gonna be a pain in the butt. <laughs> Exterior grub rats, nice. Did we not just, uh, where's our marble melon? Did that be under like, fauna? Uh, 
There it is. This plant collects water from the air rather than relying on its root system. It produces large fleshy, fruit, fleshy fruits, which are both edible and have typically high water con content. Edible, high water content. Okay. Uh, exterior. So can we grow stuff underwater, I wonder? Probably. I'm assuming. <laughs> Artificial plant bed suitable for use on land or underwater. Yeah, okay. It's just two titanium. Not bad. Blue rent. So 10 food, 6 H2O. Alright. We're almost there, you guys. We're almost there. I know this is uh, <laughs> going to be a little bit longer than normal episode, but... <laughs> The only life form, I'm gonna take that and that because I'm greedy. Okay, Art uh, purple artifact. Uh, can I pick it up? There we go. Okay, we're just gonna stare at it, I guess. Bad in PDA. PDA Multi purpose room. We can already build this, so I know it is blacked out. Or it's grayed out, sorry, but I, I've i heard that the reason that we can make it is because we have resources. Um, if you have the resources, I guess your person's smart enough to actually... Okay, we can't get any further there. Oh, what's this? Living wall, okay. New blueprint acquired. So, do we walk on top here? So, I don't think we need that, like, that. Oh! I'm not sure if that's what actually damaged us or not, but... It does not feel like we need to get in... Oh, wait. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like, doesn't it feel like we need to get in there? Somebody took our data download? You don't come towards me, you're dead. Like that. Picking up battery. Nothing else really, eh? Hmm. This going up and down ladders is super fast. Alright, um... You know what? I think... I think that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. <laughs> we got so much more. We still have to find the one on top of the roof there, or uh, on top of the other mountain there. We have a bunch of PDAs to go through, or data banks, and then blueprints. So we got quite a bit of stuff ahead of us. <laughs> so that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.